Hey guys, when I watch Supercross, it seems like most of the riders get their girlfriends from the track. So my question for you is, how do I get some hot chicks from the track? Shake and Blake, out. <laughs> we got relationship advice. Shake and Blake, the first relationship <laughs> advice question. Yeah. Perfect. Rob Father, you want to answer that one? Just so you guys are fully I have an in answer the frame. Well, Just saying it out. He asked about how do I pick up some hot yeah, chicks some from hot the, chicks track. the track. Here's my oh, advice to you. Don't. Just right. don't. That was going to be my advice. <laughs> Rob? Picking up hot chicks are so wrong because one, they're wrong, and two, they're wrong. Like, just don't pick up hot chicks. Well, first of all, let me just, you need a lot of money. There's no question. You need a lot of money. <laughs> but the other part, if you have enough money, you don't need mojo or game. Okay. But if you only have, if you don't quite have enough money, you need mojo. So okay. as, at a very young age, you gotta you got to start to work that. How do you practice that? Well, he should, in supermarkets, grocery stores, uh, Walmart, he okay. should go up to random women and yep. see if he can uh, get phone numbers or Snapchat. Right? Great. Is that what they do? Snapchat. So at what age Maybe, should you begin know. practicing that? Shake and Blake's age? Seven, eight, nine? Uh, eight's good enough. You know, you're almost close to 10, which is double digits. And it's pre, t you know, eight, eight's good, right? Have you seen the kid's hair? Is it good? Is it, does he have a mohawk or anything? It's no, he's just a good looking kid. Oh, is he? Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. Then you won't need as much money. <laughs> if you're good looking, which you are, then uh, more you can mojo. Have less. You already have mojo. Yeah. Anything to add? That's good advice. Matt Flood? Uh, yeah, actually. Okay, <laughs> great. So speaking from experience, uh, you don't need any of the stuff they just said. You just need confidence. So at your age, it might, well, yeah, correct. So Mojo does come from confidence, but if you're confident, it's a little bit easier to do. If you're not confident, it's just like riding a bike. If you're not confident on the bike, you're not really gonna do what you wanna do out there. So if you're confident when you're trying to talk to these hot chicks at the track, then it's just gonna be a little bit easier for you. Now, you're not gonna knock everyone out of the park. They're not gonna be home runs. You're gonna have some you know, strikeouts. You're gonna have some outs and stuff like that but you just got to have confidence and eventually it will come when you're, you know, 17, 18, whatever. I don't know how old you are right now, but just keep working at it. You'll be fine. Well, is this dude for real? Is he doing motos right I behind us like without an exhaust? I would like to give an actual quote from a very smart man. Okay. If you want to be happy for the rest of your life, never make a pretty girl your wife. If you want to take it from everyone's point of view, get an ugly girl to marry you because she'll never leave you. Well, that was horrible it. advice also. Who the heck said Who that? Said that? <laughs> it's a song, you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I bet you it's a well-known one, too. <laughs> it's a song, you idiots. Listen, you're talking to the world's best wingman. There's no question. There's not a better wingman out there. It's most But is that... Oh, is, this, is he creating dust by the van? Are the back doors shut? He's definitely creating dust. Can we deal with that guy? All right, you want to go punch his father? <laughs> <laughs> his mother. So What's he doing? too pretty. I'm gonna go threaten a kid. If he doesn't stop, I'm gonna hit your mother. I bet you his mother. <laughs> and I bet you his mother's pretty. That's why there's problems. I'm so uh, sorry. Shake, Shake and Blake. Blake. I will say though that the riders, a lot of the riders that have got their girlfriends from the races, that's not. It's been seldom that those are the girlfriends that they end up with. I think that the guys that get the girlfriends that the girls that don't know what racing, like Allie, for example. Allie didn't know what dirt bikes are. Were she. Uh, doesn't care for dirt bikes. I think find, uh, if you're gonna go pro one day, which you are, find a girl that's not at the races is probably better. Because then if you do get really good, which you are, then uh, they like you for the right reasons and not because you're just fast. Cool. Great answer, team. Okay, we're, on wow. that note, we're that gonna end it. something else right there. We got a leaky van. <laughs> oh, something else. Freaking Rob just beat up somebody's mom. <laughs> Moto Academy me. podcast, number one podcast in the world. Yeah, they don't call me the Rob Father for nothing. <laughs> oh, gosh. Get dog. me out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe, club.themotoacademy.com. <laughs> we got to go. We got to eat. We're going to go get a nice dinner and some dessert, maybe cold plunge. Okay, that was fun. Good Toodaloo. Talk. Toodaloo. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, go download them. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and I think that's it. Go download them there, give them a listen. If you want to watch full episodes, which I tell you what, it's even better to do that, go to club.themotoacademy.com because Moto Academy subscribers inside of the app have exclusive access to watch the entire episodes. And not only that, the subscribers actually can send in their questions to be answered in the podcast as well. club.themotoacademy.com. Go subscribe.